Hi, this is Terry from Rock Solid Technical Services. I'm going to show you how to create and use a VMware vApp. You can create a VM vApp after you have created a data center and have added a clustered DRS enabled host to your vCenter. You can create a new vApp if the following conditions are met. A host is selected that is running ESX 3.0 or greater, or a DRS-enabled cluster has been selected from inventory. In this demonstration, I'll create one using this classroom cluster. There are a few ways that you can create the vApp. With that cluster highlighted, you can go to File, New, and then VApp. And as you can also see, you can press Control A to bring up the new VApp wizard. Or you can right click on the cluster and select New VApp from the pop up there. Okay. In the new VApp wizard, first it's going to ask for a VApp name. and the vapp inventory location and then select next you'll then see the resource allocation where you can reserve resources such as CPU and memory we're going to use the defaults select next you can then review your selections and when finished click finish if you need to make changes click back very simple to create the vapp. However, there's nothing in it. Let's add virtual machines to this vapp. To do so, simply drag and drop the virtual machines onto the vapp. And when you do so, you see that you get the plus to expand where you can view the virtual machines within the vapp. Also you can see in the right hand pane the vapp has its own tabs very similar to the virtual machines. The summary, where you can see resources and commands and statuses. The resource overview, the virtual machines that are in it. performance, tasks and events, permissions, maps, and etc. Now let's edit the settings of the vApp. With the vApp, you can power on or off multiple VMs at the same time or in an automated manner with delays and specific orders. Let's show you this. Let's go to Edit Settings when you right click on the vApp. That brings up the Edit Settings window. There's an Options tab and a Start Order tab. On the Options tab, you can see that you can make changes to the resources again, or Properties, changes to the IP allocation policy, or Advanced. We're going to use the Start Order tab. In this example, let's have student 102 start first. Highlight it and click the up arrow until it's in the location of where you want to start. Notice how you can have multiple virtual machines in groups which will start at the same time.
On the right hand side under startup action you also see that you can change the number of seconds that have elapsed on when the action is going to happen. For demonstration purposes let's do these 15 seconds apart. You can also select a shutdown action from this drop down here. None, power off, guest shutdown, and suspend. The startup action, you only have none or power on. Let's apply by clicking OK. Now let's power on this V app and watch the order in which they power up. First we see student 102, 15 seconds or so for the next one. Keep in mind that the 15 seconds is after the other one has started. And finally the third one. You can see at the bottom the whole V app is only 81% finished. Now it's complete. The V app is all on. And they went in the order specified with the delays. The distribution format of a VApp is OVF. This means the VApp can be used with other virtual machine platforms. This concludes my demonstration. Thank you for watching.